Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. In today's video we're going to be uh, discussing the different types of graphs. There are four main different types and we're going to be uh, discussing together some of the implications of these graphs. So first of all let's take a look at autographs. Autographs and here the transplantation of the cells, tissues or organs or grafts in short are going to be from one side of the body to another of the same organism. This is incredibly important. Now, in here, no rejection is going to be taking place. The reason no rejection is going to be taking place is because our immune system will be able to recognize these cells as self. So if, uh, if, these, uh, if our immune system knows that these are safe, they are, these are self cells, no immune response is going to be taking place. Next, we've got the isografts or the uh, synergenetic uh, graphs. By the way, this is something we mentioned in the first uh, in the first video, so let's detail it a little bit further. Transplantation of the cell slash tissue slash organ from one genetically identical individual to another. So let's break this a little bit. When we mean genetically identical in mice, it is possible to get almost like 100% identical um, uh, genetically identical individuals. Obviously, in humans, it is going to be less common. However, when we're talking about identical twins, it is uh, it, it is near possible. I, I want to stress on the point uh, on the word near. All right. So we're we're going, we are, uh, for the most part, our body is not going to be rejecting a an organ or a set of cells from our. Uh, identical twin. So in this case, we're also not going to be seeing any rejection. This is because our body is going to be, for the most part, recognizing these as self. Uh, by the way, this is also going to be detailed further in future videos. Now, allografts, transplantation of the cell slash tissue, uh, slash tissue slash organ from two genetically different organisms or individuals from the same species. Now, this is also very important. So basically, it's like you taking a graft from a friend, for example. In this case, we're going to be having a, 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 a well, obviously, we're going to be having a rejection since our body is going to be recognizing these cells as non-self. Uh, alloantigens are expressed in response, uh, therefore they're going to be, uh, by, by the way, these alloantigens are incredibly important and these are the ones that are going to be eliciting an immune response. Also, this is going to be discussed in a later video. So, rejection is going to be taking place. Xenografts. Xenografts are actually one of the more, um, I want to say, common, uh, common uh, things that occur in uh, in modern science at the moment, and uh, I'll, I'll give a couple of examples. So first of all, xenografts, transplantation of the cell slash, uh, slash tissue slash organ from two members of different species. Now, here we're going to be directly getting a rapid rejection. Obviously, this is going to be after 10 days, if it is the first set or three days after the second set. Now, uh, there are a couple of things I'd like to mention here. This is usually done for pigs slash dog tissues for some reason. Now, uh, we know that pig, uh, vas uh, pig blood vessels are also quite important when uh, if we want to test them in humans so this is one of the ways they used to test and the uh, xenograft um, uh, or preventing these immune rejections was a difficult task however it is possible now both rejections can be stopped by using immunosuppressants and by uh, by these rejections we mean definitely the allografts and the xenografts now we have to remember that inbred mouse strains are mice that are genetically identical and are created by repetitive matings of siblings this results in homozygosity of the genetic loci. Essentially, we're basically talking about two genetically identical. Uh, we're going to be talking about two genetically identical uh, organisms. In this case, we have mice. Uh, obviously, it's going to be much easier to uh, repeatedly mate um, mice, and, uh, and I mean more commonly than other uh, species. Uh, this concludes this episode. Uh, this has been Ali from B Biology.